Happy New Year everyone, I hope you're all having a great start to 2026. This is my 10th year working in data and I get asked all the time how I would approach breaking into data science today. Things have changed so much over the last couple of years and I thought, you know what, there's no better time to share it with you all than my first day back at work this year. As usual, I try to get into the office around 9.15. The office was so quiet today. Unfortunately, our coffee machine was broken, so I went to pick up a coffee and grab myself some free breakfast in the office and also engage in a bunch of small talk with my colleagues about the holidays. I will spare you the next minute of watching me wipe down pretty much everything on my desk. So let's talk about what I would actually focus on if I were starting a data career today. Firstly, I would not be obsessing over learning every machine learning algorithm. There was a time when I spent my free hours reading XGBoost documentation and trying to understand every possible model out there. Instead, I would invest my time in understanding how products and businesses actually make money. AI may change how we work, but the fundamentals don't change. Data roles have always been about asking the right questions and helping teams make better data-driven decisions, not building the fanciest model with the best accuracy. In 2026, your portfolio isn't about proving you can code, it's about proving you have a growth mindset and that you can solve real problems and communicate clearly. Later in the morning, I'm usually in product stand-ups with my engineers, designers, and product managers. Since today is the first day back, my morning is pretty quiet, so let's move on to some core skills that you have to have if you want to work in data. Communication matters so much in data roles, please don't underestimate this. You are constantly working cross-functionally and being able to explain insights and data anomalies is what actually makes you effective. A big part of that is learning how to manage expectations, being upfront about timelines, asking questions when requirements are unclear, and not over-promising just to look capable. And honestly, a lot of that communication starts with the basics, SQL and spreadsheets. Most real decisions still begin with a SQL query and end in a Google Sheet or Excel file that someone else non-technical needs to understand. If you can pull the right data confidently, sanity check it quickly, and most importantly, explain what it means for your business in plain English, you will already be ahead of most people. Another skill that I would focus on is developing good judgment with data, not just technical ability. Now what that means is knowing when the data is good enough to make a decision, spotting when something looks off, and being comfortable saying, hey, I don't fully trust these numbers yet. A strong data scientist isn't the person who runs the most complex model, it is the person who knows what not to do, what questions to push back on, and how to turn messy, imperfect, real-world data into something your business can act on. Now it's time for a lunch break. I ended up chatting to my colleague for almost two hours about how his holiday went and what work goals we both wanted to achieve in the new year. After my very extended lunch, I had to run to an alignment session with my product team, actually my only meeting of the day. We picked up where we left off before the Christmas break and aligned on which initiatives we should be focusing on next and what the key problems were. I will be juggling two main pieces of work, both around user engagement, essentially auditing how our engagement program and some of the newer product features have performed over the past few months. We also have a new PM who is joining the team, which means it's time to rebuild alignment from scratch. This is where stakeholder management and communication really matters, understanding how they like to work, how they make decisions and how they want their insights presented. I did want to quickly touch on math skills because a lot of data science roadmaps tell you to start with linear algebra, vector calculus and all of that, but in practice, you don't need heavy math day to day. What actually matters is applied statistics, A-B testing, understanding distributions, basic hypothesis testing, and knowing how models like logistic regression work, and more importantly, how to interpret the results. In the afternoon, I usually get a block of deeper focus time. Today, I'm spending some time reading up on MCPs and learning how I can build an MCP server myself. I genuinely think that one of the most important skills for data scientists in 2026 and beyond is learning how to work with AI. I was pretty hesitant at first to build all of my machine learning models leveraging AI, but honestly, I can't escape it anymore. It is just so much faster, and so many of my colleagues are leveraging it to build, iterate, and test. Whether it's using AI-powered IDEs like Cursor to speed up analysis and prototyping, building AI data-driven products like sentiment analysis, or creating data agents that can answer questions straight from a database, 
AI has become non-negotiable, it is everywhere in our job descriptions. The key isn't just knowing that it exists, it's knowing how to use it to make your work smarter, more efficient and more impactful. I'm so tired right now. If you're looking to upskill like I am, this isn't sponsored, but Data Camp is a great place to start. I'm about to begin the AI engineering course and my goal is to finish it by the end of February. They are actually running 50% of unlimited learning for the entire year with a bunch of courses across AI, machine learning, Python, and it works it to roughly only $20 a month, which in my opinion is a great bargain. I am spending the final hour of my workday looking over some big picture questions that my product manager has sent through. I'm deep in SQL, analyzing the performance of an engagement feature that we shipped recently, and I'll turn this into a few recommendations over the next couple of days. So to summarize, the core skills you need to become a data scientist in 2026 are Python, the command line, SQL, spreadsheets, and basic applied statistics. If you pair these with strong communication skills, an AI savvy mindset, and a portfolio that proves impact, you're going to be in a really good position to land a role. Good secured. If I were building my own data science portfolio this year, I would keep it focused, including one strong predictive modeling project in Python, ideally in a topic that I'm passionate about, one product style analysis exploring user behavior or funnels with SQL and a dashboarding tool, and finally, an AI-powered prototype that tackles a real business problem, showing the employer how I can test, iterate, and build real solutions leveraging AI. And most importantly, I would document my thinking, why I chose certain metrics, the trade-offs I made, and the recommendations I would give to the business. That is what actually makes a portfolio stand out in 2026. I was feeling too tired and ended up skipping my Pilates class. I'm definitely still adjusting to being back in the office after 10 days of doing absolutely nothing at home. I'm curious to know, have many of you returned to work yet? Let me know in the comments below. Poker has somehow become my family's new addiction, so we ended up playing a few rounds and then I started importing and roughly editing the footage that you're watching right now. I'm trying to shorten the gap between filming and actually posting. I spent a little bit more time in the evening working on my MCP server before calling it a night. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and let me know what other topics you would like to see me cover of next. I will definitely be filming a lot more work vlogs and career advice this year. As always, thank you for watching. Happy 2026 and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.